basic education curriculum, technology and livelihood education, learner's packet leap, carpentry, exploratory course for grade 7 and 8, identifying hazard and risk, and maintain occupational health and safety awareness. Hello class, I am your TLE teacher, Sir Lance. In this new lesson video, we will be able to understand and identify the different hazards and risks found in the workplace of a carpenter. But before that, let us discuss first our learning outcomes for today. Learning outcomes Learning outcome number one, identify hazards and risks. 1.1 List down the different health hazards and risks found in the workplace. 1.2. Discuss the effects of health hazards and occupational Hi class, before we proceed to our lesson, can you spot and identify first the common hazards and risks found in this picture? Type your answer in the comment section or write it in a separate sheet of paper. Your timer starts now. Identifying hazard and risk. Do you know that hazard is the potential harm that might exist in the area on the other hand, risk is a combination of potential hazard and the degree of its effects. Identifying properly the potential hazard in the workplace is one of the most important steps in risk management. It is a must to identify potential harm to prevent it from happening in the future. Through hazard identification, risk will be reduced around the area. Below are the basic types of hazards existing in a workplace. First, physical hazard is any form of danger that affects the physical body of a person. Second, mechanical hazard is a harm brought by using specific equipment or machines. Third, chemical hazards are danger caused by toxic and harmful substance that can be inhaled or absorbed by a person. Fourth, electric shock hazard is any risk brought by electricity. And five, biological hazard refers to organisms that are harmful to human's health. Working conditions that can produce hazards. 1. Falling objects 2. Objects that can puncture skin 3. Objects that could roll over workers' feet 4. Toxic chemicals 5. Heat 6. Harmful dust and 7. Radiation Examples of hazards and their effects 1. Thing Powered and non-powered tools Electrocution Being struck by broken drill bits Cutters Swarf Potential for serious eye, head, or facial injury Cuts and lacerations 2. Substance or material Hazardous substance like wood dust asbestos, medium density fiberboard, formaldehyde vapor, and wood adhesives. Short-term exposure could cause respiratory illness. Long-term exposure could lead to chronic respiratory illnesses, including asbestosis. Formaldehyde is carcinogenic. Third, Source of energy, electricity, shock, and electrocution. Fourth, condition, wet floor, exposure to loud noise, slips, falls, 
hearing illness. Fifth, process, working at heights. Falls from heights, potential for fatality or serious injury. Six, practice, manual handling, bending, reaching, stretching, pulling, lifting, repetitive motion, and awkward posture. Musculoskeletal disorders. Identifying hazard and risk is useless if there is no action made after they have been identified. Evaluating such hazard and controlling it must come after to prevent it from occurring. Using accident prevention tags, signs, and signals are some of the ways to address these hazards. Accident Prevention Tags Control Hazard and Risk Accident Prevention Tags are label attached to a specific tool, equipment, or material that warms the user before using it. It is usually used to indicate defective tools and equipment. Signals are gestures, actions, or sounds used to convey safety instructions such as hand gestures and alarms. Barricades are barriers that prevent an authorized person from entering a specific point of a place. Signs indicate various hazards existing in the workplace, usually in printed form and posted where a specific hazard exists. There are several types of signs, namely safety, danger, caution, exit, directional, and traffic sign. 1. Danger sign are posted if there are immediate hazard existing in the area and are removed when not existing already. 2. Caution sign are warnings about possible hazards brought by unsafe practices. 3. Exit sign are usually posted to indicate way to exit a specific place in case of emergency. 4. Safety sign usually indicate what to do to protect oneself from potential harm like wearing PPE signage. 5. Directional sign. Serve as guide for workers in sight for data specific direction on where to go. 6. Traffic sign. Are usually found in road. In road construction, they usually warn travelers to take precautionary measures as they approach in the area. 7. Accidental prevention tag shall be used as temporary means of warning of an existing hazard such as defected tools, equipment, and more. Carpentry Personal Protective Equipment or PPE 1. Goggles It is a protective eyewear that is enclosed and protect areas surrounding the eyes to prevent them from harmful particles from striking the eyes. 2. Safety shoes with puncture protection are required when working around nails, wire tacks, scrap metals, and other objects that could fears the feet. 3. Gloves they can be either metal mesh, leather, or canvas worn to protect hands from cuts, punctures, burns, and abrasions. 4. Ear protector. It is worn to amplify quiet sounds and protect ears from loud noise around the work area. It is also known as ear plugs. 5. Hard hat. It protects the head from falling objects and other hazards around the working area. 6. Cover all suit. 
It is formed to protect clothes while working. It has pockets to hold small and frequently used tools. 7. Apron An apron is a protective piece of clothing made from fabric or other materials that covers the front of the body. 8. Respirator It protects workers against insufficient oxygen, environments, harmful dust, fogs, smokes, mists, gases, vapors, and sprays. It's time to test your knowledge class. It's quiz time! Directions Identify the following signs and symbols used in controlling hazards and risks in the workplace. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Thank you for watching and listening. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I am your TLE teacher, Sir Lance. See you again next time. Goodbye!